Good morning, everyone. Today we are here at Meyer. We're gonna go and check out some of the prices on groceries. Some of the things you guys have asked about, look around, see if we can find some good deals. Let's get to it. I'll tell you what, as soon as we come into Meyer here, they are well loaded down on Valentine's Day. Look at this. That looks amazing. Ooh, $20.99. That's a bit extreme. $12.99 for this one. I like this. You leave a little bit of room to put somebody's name on there. A few different sales here on three pound bags of Granny Smith, Pink Lady, Gala, and Fuji apples. $3.99 for a three pound bag. We can find better deals, but regular price on these is $4.39, so a little bit of a savings. Well, for whatever reason, somebody was asking about hair prices at Meyer. You said they went up. They sure did. They were on sale for $1.49 for forever. Now $1.99 a pound. Crazy. Six ounce blackberries on sale at Meyer here for 99 cents a piece. 99 cents a piece. That's a pretty good deal. I noticed a deal here on Brussels sprouts. They have them for $2.50 for a one pound bag. You have to buy two of them though, making it $5. But Brussels sprouts is one of those where we've seen go up in price lately. $3.29 regular price for one pound. Oh, they got the Bolt House Farms carrots here on sale. The baby cut carrots here, one pound, 99 cents. I noticed the regular price went up on these. They're $1.35 now. $1.35, that's up from $1.29. These keep going up for whatever reason. We saw them at $1.09. Uh, it's been a while, about a year, but $1.19, $1.29, now $1.35. So another item that we continue to see go up in price. 99 cents on sale this week at Meyer, though. They have these six ounce, or I'm sorry, eight ounce packages of red radishes here. 79 cents, 79 cents for that. It's not too bad. Then they got the broccoli crowns right here. Regular price, they're not on sale. $1.49 though. $1.49, regular price was $1.69 for the longest time. Looks like that's come down a little bit. Well, lettuce went up dramatically here at Meyer. It's $1.89 now for a head of lettuce. We saw where they had it on sale for $1.49 a couple weeks ago and then on sale for $0.99. Cents. Now $1.89, that's actually up $0.10 cents in regular price. Was $1.79. $1.89 now. Five pound bags of the Halo Mandarins are $6.99. Pretty much the same price of what it is everywhere right now. Everywhere's had a sale at $6.99, $6.98 at Walmart. But, and that was on a rollback offer at Walmart. All the regular prices on a five pound bag now though, $7.99. So if you like these, I'd get them while they're on sale. Uh, and I don't see any here. Oh, here they are. They've got the Sumo Mandarins here two pound bag on a sale price for $4.99. Somebody was asking about those, but if you use the Imperks digital coupon, you could save an extra dollar this week, get them for $3.99. We got a couple organic sales this week. We have the Artisan Organic Granny Smith Apples, $3.99 a pound. That is down from $4.89 a pound. And then they have the Artisan Organic Honeycrisp Apples, $5.99 a pound. Uh, down from $6.69 a pound. Then they have the Gala here, $3.99 a pound, down from $4.89 a pound. And same with the Organic Fuji, $3.99 a pound on sale, down from $4.89 a pound. No sales on onions. And I want to show you guys something. $3.49 for two pounds of red onions. I told everybody these were going to be going up in price, and sure enough, they have. This is ridiculous. $3.49 for a two pound bag of white onions. I mean, this is this is getting outrageous. These don't even look that great. I don't really understand it either because these ones right here, although they're massive, these ones are the big ones, the jumbos. We have red onions, $1.29 a pound, right? So that would be what, $2.58 for two pounds? So it would be cheaper to go this route. Here we got the sweet onions here, $1.39 a pound, all of this continues to go up in price. The cheapest ones that I see here are the Spanish, uh, is that what these are? I don't even see them. I don't think these are the Spanish ones. These are like the sweet onions, the bulk onions. The Spanish onion bulk though would be $1.09 a pound. So that would be the cheapest. And the white onions here, $1.99 a pound. Kind of what I was talking about, about seeing regular prices go up on things. And then if they come down, they just go right back up again or even more. We saw these 10 pound bags of russet potatoes, regular price, what they were last week, $4.99, $4.99. 
$4.49 on sale this week, but the regular price went up to $5.99. So the regular price went up a dollar, but if you get them this week, you'll get them for 50 cents less than what the regular price was last week. $4.49 this week. If you shop at Meyer, I recommend getting them. Well, I don't see any here, but they do have the russet potatoes. $1.49 on sale this week. Three pound bag down from $2.99. So that's half off. No extra purchase required. Good deal on the Genio one pound turkey bread or turkey, ground turkey. $3.99 down from $4.79. This one right here. Is that the 93? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Regularly $7.39 for this one right here, I guess. Wait a minute. No. Well, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. It says the same thing. I don't know why it says 7th. Oh, that's for the patties. For the patties. I don't see the patties here. Oh, there they are. There they are. Yeah. So those would be $3.99 as well, regularly $7.39. And the one-pound packages, the non-patties, $3.99 as well. So if you like the patties, I mean, that's a better deal. Same thing. It's still one pound. It's just pre-made for you. They have their certified Angus beef New York strip steaks on sale for $9.99 a pound. Regular price $14.99 a pound. And it's good to see this actually on sale for $9.99. The last time they had this on sale was $11.99 a pound. So good deal. Probably trying to get rid of some. $9.99 a pound. That's the best deal we've seen in a while on the New York strips here at Meyer. They've got the back ribs by Meyer here, $3.99 a pound on sale. Looks like they got the boneless tenderloin all natural here, $3.49 a pound on sale. Regular price on these, $4.99 a pound now. So not the best deal we've seen, but still a dollar off a pound. They have their spare ribs on a little bit of a deal, $2.49 a pound. And then they've got the pork shoulder butts right here, still on sale. Oh no, $1.99 a pound. This was $1.49 a pound the last time we saw it, so. Still down from $2.99 a pound, but up 50 cents a pound on the sale. So, of course, they don't have any, at least not in the home spot here, but all family packs of Meyer chicken drumsticks this week, 99 cents a pound. That is a great deal. Never thought we would ever see it that cheap again, but unfortunately, they're all out of them here. Somebody was asking if I could check out some of the prices on Bob Evans breakfast sausage. I saw this sale here and thought of you. Two for six dollars. Not sure if you have a Meyer, um, but they got the breakfast patties and sausage links here. Two for six, three ninety nine regular price for one of these. You do have to buy two of them, but you'll save a dollar on each one. They have a sale on Oscar Meyer this week. Bacon, buy one, get one of equal or lesser value, forty percent off on twenty two ounce packs or deli fresh lunch meat of Oscar Meyer. Fifteen to 22 ounces so it's the big packs it's the bigger packs of these so you would have to get like the mega pack but buy one get one 40 percent off that's 22 ounces for 10.49 get one for the 40 percent off that's not too bad of a deal i know some viewers on the channel that are going to be happy to see this one all of these tuna creation packets are on sale for 99 cents at least these ones. some of the big ones not not so much, but 99 cents, that is a good deal. 89 cents for the Meyer ones, and I gotta say, these aren't bad either. So when these aren't on sale, don't be afraid to try the Meyer one here. Never tried the jalapeno. I think we just tried the regular, but got some of the bumblebee here. 99 cents a pack as well. Good to see these on sale again. That does include the cans of Starkist in the can. So 99 cents a can, $1.19 regular price, which actually isn't crazy terrible because they're a dollar 29 regular price at kroger so 99 cents a can stock up doesn't look like there's any limits on them i know we have a few sardine lovers on the channel here we got some of the season uh season brand on sale a little bit of a sale two dollars and 19 cents not as good of a sale as we saw the last time they were a dollar 99 when they were on sale but 219 still more importantly they have them i know one of our viewers likes getting uh, this brand right here from Meyer. So we've got some of the Santo Amaro European sardines here, $2.99 down from $3.99. And looks like we have the Bumblebee Jack Mackerel Natural here, $2.39 down from $2.65. And a couple other, this, got some imported squid in ink sauce, $1.89. <laughs> huh. A little bit of a deal on some of these Vlasic pickles. 
I know we got a lot of Vlasic fans on the channel here, so you know I had to point this one out. 249 for a lot of these down from 365. And they've got the like stackums here. I pr pretty much covers, well, not all of them, but most of them. Got the bread and butter here, the bigger, bigger jars, 249 down from 319. If you are curious, this is my favorite pickle right here. I love these. These are absolutely fantastic, guys. The bread and butter pickles by Meyer. This would have to probably be my favorite. I do like Clausen, but next to that, on the cheaper note, $1.99. It's a good deal. It's a great pickle. So as to where Meyer beans did go up in price, I will say since then they have been coming in everywhere. They've been completely full. If you're one of the ones that have commented about having trouble finding canned beans in some of your stores, you might want to check out Meyer. Uh, well, our Walmart has had quite a bit too. I know some people were saying that their Walmarts were low. Some places, some people were even saying that uh, your Walmart was out of most of the beans. Even sent me a photograph uh, where it was. Yeah, there was only a couple cans on the shelves, but plenty here at Meyer. They do have the Bushes beans as well. Dollar twenty-nine. We've been seeing some sales on these though. These are a dollar fifty-nine at Kroger, which is crazy. But Kroger had a sale on them for a dollar a can. I don't think that sale is still going on. They have a lot of the different chili beans here. Dollar ninety-five. These are Bushes though, so you're going to pay a little bit more. Uh, still two fifty-nine for the big cans of Bushes baked beans here. Now, they went up to $2.79 at Kroger, so for the regular price, still a little bit of a better deal. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a lot of different cooking oils, different olive oils and stuff, here's the True Goodness Organic uh, Imported Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Somebody was asking about this one, $10.49 for that. But they have a ton of different cooking oils here, and I know that we're expecting to see some shortages on olive oils, but... Haven't seen that yet here at Meyer. We have it some other places, like we saw where it was a little short at Sam's Club here and there. But you know, as far as, as far as Meyer goes, they just have tons of different cooking oils here. All of them ranging from prices, different prices. Here's this one here, the Partana, Partana brand. Somebody was asking about that one a while back. I, I did point that out here at Meyer. I just saw it here. It's a little pricey, but I don't know. Oil's kind of one of those things. The more you spend on it, usually the better it is. Uh, but I guess that goes with anything, really. Yeah, they've got got a ton here. Got some of this balsamic vinegar by Pompeian. I know we get a lot of comments on Pompeian on the channel. Plenty, plenty of different options here at Meyer. Little bit of a sale on the gallons of distilled white vinegar, $3.39. Still, sale price more than what the regular price was just a couple months ago. They kind of shot up in price everywhere. $3.85 here, $3.99 for Kroger for the big one. So, a little bit of a deal. If you're looking for some distilled white vinegar, you can save a little bit this week. So, if you're wanting to brave your taste buds, they have the Dave's Ghost Pepper. This is the Insanity Sauce, and this is absolutely insane. I will never try that again. That is ridiculous. That is nuts. I, I, oh boy, I can, I can, it's just talking about it. I can still feel what that was like. Here is the ghost pepper, which I have tried as well. I gotta say, this is hot. This is really hot. I've probably never tried this one again either. Um, but I gotta say, this insanity sauce, I feel like, was worse. But anyway, $4.99 on sale this week, down from $7.49. Somebody was asking about this, saying you weren't able to find it. It's been a, it's been a long time. I wasn't able to find it for the longest time. Did point it out here at Meyer like a few months ago, but just showing this again because I saw it on sale. No sales on any canned vegetables here at Meyer. Most of your regular sweet peas, green beans, corn is going to be 69 cents. Some of the other ones do range in different prices. Here's those sliced beets somebody was asking about, but those are $1.15 now. Uh, 99 cents for the diced tomato or potatoes. They have some of these Kinder sauces on sale this week, $2.99 down from $4.99. I know a few viewers on the channel that like this one wanted to point out that deal. A little bit of a sale on Duke's mayonnaise, the light and the regular here. $4.49 down from $4.99 for the 30 ounce container, which is actually even regular prices, an okay deal. These are like $6.49 regular price at Kroger now. So if you like Duke's mayonnaise, Meyer's the place to get it. Okay, so if you're one of the few people that have been commenting on not being able to find salt, 
Uh, and we continually have this issue. We've even seen where it's been low or out in some of the stores around here. Um, they do have it here at Meyer, 79 cents uh, for the salt right here. The iodized salt is 79 cents as well. Wow, looks like they're out of Morton's. They got some of the big boxes over here, but they're out of the containers for $1.59. That's unusual for Meyer. They do have the iodized salt up here for $3.19. Don't usually see many deals on spices here. Every now and then, usually around the holidays, you'll find some deals on spices here at Meyer. But I will say it is always pretty well full and stocked here at Meyer. Anytime we run out of spices somewhere, I don't even hesitate. I just go straight to Meyer because I know the chances of them having it are a lot greater. You may pay a little more. It may cost a little bit more, but they always have it. And here's one that some people were asking about, the different salt shakers, the different grinders. A lot of places that don't have the ones you're looking for, they do have a, a big variety of them here. McCormick and Meyer. Same price, same price for the different ones. Meyer is the same price as uh, McCormick, but I'll say all the Meyer brand spices have always been really good. All the ones I've ever gotten have been really good and they're always uh, pretty well stocked on these. Oh, they got a little bit of a sale here on Crisco, $4.99 down from $5.79. Uh, both of them, canola and vegetable oil. Here's the cornstarch I was saying that Meyer had. Meyer is continuing to get it in. I know we've gotten a lot of comments uh, recently that it's been low or out in a lot of stores. Um, finding Argo pretty much everywhere. We did see where there was some at Aldi. Uh, and Aldi's is uh, $1.79 for a one pound box. Meyer here, $1.99, but Meyer always has it. There was, a, like a couple months ago, they weren't getting it in either. So I was asking about this too. You know, this right here, it used to be like $10.99. We saw it go to $12.99, now $14.99. So this peanut butter powder here is getting pretty expensive. But yeah, just wanted to point out the cornstarch, $1.99. Um, yeah, not worth going to another store to save 20 cents. So, And we use this cornstarch, works just fine. Lots of Bob's Red Mill products on sale this week. That's interesting. Yeah, I know we get a lot of comments on bob's red mill i know a lot of people like it just kind of showing some of the prices here they got the flaxseed meal we get comments on time to time 3.99 down from 4.39 what's this one here this is the whole flaxseed here it's a little bit of a smaller bag uh dollar 99 down from 3.49 though and then they've got the cornmeal here cornmeal 3.29 down from 4.69 well, I see gold metal has finally caught up to Kroger prices, $4.49 regular price. There is something going on here. Super savings by Imperks, gold metal all-purpose flour, $2 off, and there's a QR code thing on here. I wonder if Meyer has added a QR thing. It's the first time I've ever seen that here at Meyer. You can go on to the website, though, or go to the app on your phone. $2 off, 5 pounds, limit 6. Lemon six, so this would be two forty nine plus. You would get this. Meyer is the only place I see that ever has these twenty five cent off instant stickers. So keep that in mind. Well, if you need to get your Jello fix on, they have these on sale for a dollar nineteen. These are like the bigger packs of them. Yeah, bigger packs. So you're actually going to pay more for the smaller one. Dollar forty nine for the smaller one. Dollar sixty nine regular price for the bigger one, but. $1.19 on sale for some of the bigger ones this week. It's a good deal. I think I might have made a mistake on that peanut butter powder because this is the one I was thinking of. Um, that other one, I believe, is a different brand, but it's still $10.99. Still $10.99 for this one. All right, all of our Bigelow T fans on the channel, and I know there's a lot of you out there. Meyer has theirs back on sale, and this is going to be going on until February 24th, uh, 2024. So two, two, four, two, four. Uh, Kroger still has theirs on sale for two ninety nine. So if you don't have a Meyer, uh, you can still get that deal at Kroger. I think that goes on actually until March. I don't know. Don't call me. I know it was a very long extended sale. Regular price on these here three fifty nine, four twenty nine. Regular price at Kroger, but on sale here at Meyer, two dollars and seventy nine cents. No limits. Looks like it's going to be another one of those weeks here at Meyer. No sales on there. Meyer canisters of coffee, Folgers, or any of the Maxwell House. No Maxwell House sales. 
Oh, they do got these. Oh, yeah, somebody was talking about these. They got the smaller cans of Maxwell House on sale, two for seven. You do have to buy two of them. They do have some of the Meyer pods on sale, 12 cups, $3.99, down from $4.99. This regular price actually dropped. This was $5.19, regular price dropped down to $4.99, $3.99 on sale. A good time to maybe try one of these. Not a big fan of Meyer coffee. Um, the donut shop was okay. Breakfast blend's okay. Uh, none of the bigger packs are on sale. They also have the Folgers on sale here for $6.99, down from $8.59. They do have some of these other Meyer coffees right here, like some of the more fancier caramel latte, hazelnut latte, mocha latte. $3.99 for these as well. I've never tried any of these, but just wanted to point that out. So the bigger packs of the 48 counts of McCafe, Original Donut Shop, and Green Mountain are on sale for $25.99 down from $29.99. That also includes Cinnabon here. Haven't seen this one in a while. Look at this. I got Krispy Kreme, $25.99. And the smaller 32 counts are $18.99 down from $23.99 and no sale on the smaller ones. It must be big coffee pod Keurig cup sale week here at Meyer. They have the Starbucks on sale as well. The 44 count, $29.99 down from $33.99. No sale on the smaller ones. Looks like it's going to be all the bigger ones. We got some of the bigger bags of Starbucks on sale as well. $10.99 down from $13.59. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a pretty decent deal. They have some of the Black Rifle Company coffee here. I know some People on the channel like this one want to point this sale out. It's the same sale it's been here for a while. This is good until the 17th, so we got a week on this one. Uh, this deal right here, Death Wish Coffee, which I know we got some fans of this on the channel. It's an actually decent deal, $18.99 down to $14.99. We rarely see a sale on this at all. Um, yeah, so, and that is good until March 2nd, 2024. So, pretty good. They have eight o'clock coffee here. The smaller bags on sale, $4.99, down from $7.99. That is good until February 24th, 2024. And then we have Duncan here, the bigger bags, $10.99, down from $12.99. And that'll be good until Saturday, February 17th, 2024. I was walking past this. I know we have some fans of the Stoke cold coffee, cold brew coffee here. A little bit of a deal. Wanted to point this out here for you. $4.99 down from $5.99. Not going to go over all of these, but they do have Charmin on sale this week. A little bit of a deal. Not Nothing to really brag about. Looks like $2 off each one. The smaller one here, only off a dollar. Toilet paper, I'll tell you what, guys. It is, we're, you know, we've been getting a lot of comments on how toilet paper's kind of been going, going up again around the country, so... Be good to pay attention to some of these prices one thing you do want to make sure you pay attention to is how much you're actually getting like if we see the if we see it go away and come back and we see the price is the same the next thing we need to look at is if it's been shrinkflated no sales on butter at Meyer this week except for the country crock spreadable margarine 569 for the big tubs are actually out of them biggest ones not on sale the medium sized one, $5.69 down from $6.29. If you can find them, they do have the light butter on the same deal, $5.69. They've got some of the smaller ones here, $2.99 down from $3.59. They got Blue Bonnet over here. Wow, $1.99 was the regular price forever. I guess that went up, $2.25 regular price, $1.99 on sale. One of our viewers was saying they were having trouble finding the lactate milk here. Um, just wanted to point out that Meyer always has it. I never see them. They also carry the purple one down here. I know one of our longtime viewers was wanting that one because of the calcium. Oh, well, they got the little fancy, smaller containers of the Coffee Mate. Let's see, what size is this? Um, uh, let's see, a $2.99 though, down from $4.49. That's a good deal. These are all the same size. This is 32 ounces. 32 ounces for $2.99. Yeah, that ain't bad. The cheapest eggs here at Meyer are $1.69. $1.69, that's amazing that these haven't gone up. We saw them go up at Walmart. Still $1.69 at Kroger. Well, actually, no, I think they might have went up to $1.79. But we saw they were $1.68 at Aldi. So I don't know how they're keeping... Egg prices are really starting to go up. So when you find anything less than $2, 
I would buy them because they're continuing to go up all around the country. Okay, so you do have to buy eight of them of the single containers here of Jabani. We get a lot of comments on Jabani. Want to point this deal out. Like I said, you got to buy eight of them, but you get them for a dollar a piece. Dollar a piece. It's not bad. Okay, so I did want to check on the water situation here at Meyer. We continue to get comments from all around the country, uh, even some places in Canada where a lot of people are having trouble finding distilled water. They do have some here at Meyer, but it is lower than we saw last week. $1.39 price went up. They were $1.35, now $1.39, which was up from $1.29 not too long ago. They've got plenty of spring water and uh, just regular drinking water, basically. But yeah, distilled continues to be a bit of an issue. I will say that we always find plenty at Kroger. So if you have a Kroger or a Kroger-owned store, you may want to check there. Well, that was our trip to Meyer today. I got to say, not impressed. Uh, not many sales at all. And the sales that we did see, some of them were okay. The family pack of chicken drumsticks for 99 cents a pound, but they didn't have any. I was going to get them and I was like, I did check. They don't have any. So I don't know. Hopefully they'll be coming back in tomorrow. I may make a second trip out here. I, I, I don't really know, but uh, not many great sales to really speak of. Nothing really stood out to me. Uh, some of the coffee deals, or lack, there wasn't very many coffee deals either. Some of them were some okay sales, but if you saw anything today in the video that you liked, uh, those, you know, we went over everything we could. I kind of found myself kind of walking around aimlessly looking for deals because there really wasn't much. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope it helped. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is up.